This time of year, a great migration of butterflies happens across our state, and the Butterfly Pavilion is bringing some of the monarch butterflies to you. We've got Catherine Hocamp. She's joining us with the Butterfly Pavilion, and you study butterflies. First of all, what's, yes. what's the name of a person who studies a butterfly? I'm a lepidopterist, which is a person who okay. works with butterflies and moths. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Lepidopterist. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what can you tell us about the monarch migration? Absolutely. So the monarchs, every fall, the monarchs that were born up in Canada and the northern United States, a single monarch they mi will migrate all the way from Canada down to central Mexico to spend the winter. So that's a migration of a thousand miles that a single one of these little butterflies can do. And so there's a huge mass amount of them, but that same butterfly that was born in Canada will make it to central Mexico to spend the winter. That's incredible. It is. Okay, so how many of these little guys do you have in here? I have about a dozen. So these are butterflies that are not going to make the migration. They were um, bred in captivity. Mm -hmm. So these are ones that um, we have. They're a little smaller than the ones that will migrate. You get really beefy monarchs yeah. that make well, that really long right, migration. Right. <laughs> Um, what makes them so unique? I mean, they're just stunning. The colors are gorgeous. Yes, they, so these bright colors are there because monarchs taste very bad. They're poisonous, so they would make a bird or anybody that ate them feel very, very sick. So it's a good idea not to eat any monarchs if okay. you have the chance. Okay, noted. If I'm out there, <laughs> I will not eat one. Uh, so, um, you know, they're very, are they difficult to find? I mean, I've never seen one in the mm -hmm. wild. Are they elusive? Well, in this area of the country, they kind of are. We're on the edge of the migration. Okay. So they really, they migrate through corn country, we often say. They're often, they're in Iowa, they're in Illinois, they're yeah. in the Midwest. And we're on the edge, and we're in a really interesting place because there are two different migrations. There's that one from Canada to Mexico, right. and there's one that's down um, to Southern California, and um, they're split by the Rockies. So we're right at the edge. And some of our monarchs probably do to California, though most of them will go to Mexico. <laughs> so tell me about this pop-up that you've got coming up at the Rockies game, because that, that's awesome. If you can't find them out mm -hmm. there in the, in the wild, you can see them at the Rockies yes, game. Yes, and you'll definitely be able to see them up close. So we have a pop-up at the Rockies game that is sponsored by Monarch Casino Spa and Resort. And what we're going to do is have 200 monarchs in a tent with lots of plants. It's going to be a great experience. Wow. And so you can come into the tent and um, really immerse yourself in these monarchs monarchs and see what they're like, see them up close and learn all about their life cycle, their habitat and everything that they go th through or everything they go yeah. through in their life and their migration. Speaking of which too, you've got a caterpillar in here also. I mean, yes. it's, just, it's just awesome. So in this event, totally free? It, it is. It'll be in parking lot A at Coors okay. Field and it will be a t open two hours before the Rockies game on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so if you can't make it to the game, where else? Do you have an event coming up? Yes, we do. It? We have an event called Monarch Magic that will start on the 16th. So right after that uh, Rockies tent and you can come to Butterfly Pavilion and we have a whole event, a couple week long event that is just centered around these monarchs and their amazing life story. And I just caught this now, but you have tiny monarch earrings. Yes, I, I do. I always like to those. show the monarchs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so 